Hi, my name is Mark. I don't work for Google, but I'm a volunteer on the Google Photos forums. I'm here today to tell you my top seven reasons why I think that everyone should be using Google Photos. Number seven, you won't have to change how you use your phone. People can be stubborn when it comes to altering how they're using their phone. There's always an uproar when popular websites make a change to their layouts. No one enjoys having to relearn something that they once knew. We are all creatures of habit and reluctant to change our behaviours. So here I am telling you about this new app and you're probably thinking about the pain of learning a new system. Don't worry about that. You can use your normal camera app the same way you do today and Google Photos does all the magic in the background. As long as you've installed the Google Photos app and set it to back up your photos, you can forget all about it. You can still share your best photos and videos to your favourite social networks. Google Photos even makes this easier as now you can keep every photo and video you've ever taken. You never have to worry about what photos you need to delete when you get that annoying low storage pop-up. You can save everything. The great thing is, as long as you have internet and you have access to all of your library, it just doesn't have to be stored on your phone, taking up valuable space. If you have a 16 gigabyte phone, then Google Photos is the essential app to have. If Google Photos need to tell you anything, you'll just get a notification. I'll talk more about this later in the video. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg with this service. Number six, this is just the start. I've been hesitant making this video because the progress on Google Photos has been so rapid. The app is just over two years old and has 500 million users. It seems like every couple of weeks a new feature is added. Some of the updates have been minor, but a lot have been major upgrades. Every feature added has been done thoughtfully. Nothing has been added just for the sake of filling a feature request. I'm constantly surprised by how they implement new ideas. They clearly care about making the best experience they possibly can. Google has spent millions acquiring companies for their talent to work on improving the service. Some of the best and brightest minds in the industry are now pouring their heart and souls into the service. I don't specifically know what's next for Google Photos, but judging by previous updates, I'm excited to see what they have in store for us. Number five, get your photos from any device. Of course, Google Photos has an app for both Android and iOS. That's pretty standard in this day and age. But if you can get to the web, then you can see all of your photos. You can say to Google to show you a selection of your photos and they'll show. On top of this, just type in photos.google.com and you'll be able to get to every one of your photos and videos. If you have a Chromecast you can use your TV as a digital photo frame. You just need to choose which album show. It's really nice to have on in the background. I even use my Daydream Viewer to see my pictures in virtual reality. It really feels like I've been transported back to my holidays. Having your photos wherever you are is brilliant but I've still got four more reasons to go. Number four, the Google Photos Assistant. Think of this as like a PA, working away in the background, helping to organize everything for you. You take a bunch of photos and videos in a day. Your assistant will find the best part of each video, pick the best pictures, add suitable music, and make this into a brand new movie for you to watch. All you need to do is click play and decide if you want to share it. The assistant will also make you an album with only the best photos and videos. It'll even suggest people that you can share to based on the people in the pictures. It's fantastic. But this is just scratching the surface of what's possible. Take a few photos in a few seconds, the assistant will automatically make you a moving picture GIF. Take a few pictures in a line and the assistant will make you a panorama picture. The assistant doesn't just do this with recent photos. It'll also make movies showing your young ones when they were babies, growing up through the years and will even showcase your pets. Unfortunately, it won't make you a sandwich. I know, I've tried. Make me a sandwich. You're a sandwich. 
It's a system that is so good it may seem like a human has made these creations for you, but this is all done by artificial intelligence. The engineers at Google have built software to look for what we think looks good in a photo, how to find blurry or badly exposed photos and to not include them in the albums it makes. Many years of computer research all working to help organise your collections so you don't have to. Number three, searching for that one photo. Are you the type of person that will sit and tag thousands of pictures with names, places and things in a photo? No? I didn't think so. Ain't nobody got time for that. That friendly assistant I spoke about before will automatically do this for you. The Google engineers have spent many years teaching their systems to recognise items in pictures. Things like pets, sunsets, snow, cars, horses and thousands of other objects and will add these as invisible tags to your photos and videos. So if I do a search for me in Lanzarote on the beach, Google Photos will find this for me. Coming later this year, Google Photos will also be able to tell you information about landmarks in your photos and even help you to identify who created a work of art you've taken a picture of. All of your photos are organised in a chronological timeline. This makes it very easy to take a walk down memory lane. You can pinch out to get an overview of all of your photos taken month by month. Google even gives you the option to clean up your timeline by removing photos and videos to an archive without deleting them. It will even suggest photos you could archive. Searching for people isn't available in Europe thanks to EU privacy laws, but for the areas it is available, this is something else that Google Photos makes very easy. Instead of having to go into every photo and typing who it is like you do on every other service, it groups faces that look similar and ask you to privately tag them. It recognises faces as they change, started from adults and all the way down to babies. You can take thousands of faces in minutes. This makes searching for photos a doddle. When I say the app recognises faces, I wasn't just talking about human faces. Search is yet another part of Google Photos that uses artificial intelligence to take the hard work out of organising your collection. Number two, simple sharing without being a social network. By default, everything uploaded to Google Photos is private to you. No one else will be able to see anything unless you choose them to. The beauty of the service is that because it's not tied into any social network, you can use it to share to anywhere you like. Facebook, for instance, doesn't want you to leave their app, but Google Photos encourages you to leave theirs. Google Photos has the best sharing system of any app I've used. Like I mentioned earlier, you'll get suggestions for people to share photos with, but if you want to manually share anything, you just need to type in their names from your address book and press send. This is where it gets clever. If the person you've shared with has the Google Photos app, then they'll get a notification so they can view the photos. If they don't have the app, you'll get a text message or email with a link. This takes all of the work out of sharing for you. You don't have to beg them to get the app, they don't even have to have a Google account, it just works. That single link can then be shared so anyone can see your pictures. This keeps things simple so anyone that wants to see your photos can. Of course if you want, you still have the control to turn this link off at any time. Every share you make becomes a private space to talk about your photos. Every shared album can be as small or as large as you'd like it. Anyone you've invited to view your photos can add their own photos if they were taken at the same place and time as yours. It's the perfect way to collect every memory from a family event. Another fantastic part of sharing is saving the pictures. All you have to do is click on the cloud button at the top right and all of the pictures will be added to your library. A new feature recently added lets you automatically share your photos and videos with the closest person in your life. I've set it up so any photos my partner takes of our children are automatically saved to my library. Automatic photo sharing is a tricky problem to solve, but the photos team have nailed this. Number one, free storage. 
Google Photos will let you save every photo and video you've ever taken completely for free. There is one condition with this. Your photos and videos will be slightly, slightly compressed. Not to the extreme of how other services downscale your pictures. In fact, you'll probably never notice any difference. At first, compressing your library might sound scary. But the more you think about it, it's actually a positive when you consider that you're being offered unlimited gigabytes of storage for nothing and then realise that by reducing the size of your photos and videos this makes it much quicker to get to your online collection. The free offering is a pretty sweet deal. If this is a deal breaker, and it really shouldn't be, you can keep all of your original photos and videos on Google Photos by paying for extra storage on top of the 15 gigabyte Google gives you. Another option to keep your photos at original quality is to get a phone like one of the Google Pixel phones and every photo you take will be stored in original quality as an added bonus for owning the phone. Google have a great track record for keeping their services free. They recently announced a photo book printing service that's tied into Google Photos. I think this will earn Google a lot of money in the future and will allow them to keep Google Photos free. If you think Google Photos sounds like a good choice for you, Shut up and take my money! What are we waiting for? Take this! You can set up your Google Photos account either on the App Store, the Google Play Store or on the web. I'm going to be making some more videos talking about Google Photos so please subscribe and choose to get notifications to see when I make these. If you have any questions about Google Photos we also have a forum full of experts that will be happy to help. Thanks for taking the time to listen to me today. I love Google Photos!